The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General T.A. Lagbaja, has stated that the inclusion of the study of Nigerian civil war in the curriculum of Army War College is to build capacity of the operational level leaders in strategic thinking planning. He said it is critical that operational leaders must be experts in operational act. Lieutenant General Lagbaja, who was represented by the Chief of Policy and Plan, Army Major General Abdul Salam Ibrahim, disclosed this during the Nigerian Civil War Symposium of Army War College Course 8 2024 that has the theme, the dynamics of leadership and decision making during the Nigerian Civil War. Lessons for operational level commanders. General Lagbaja said the outcome of the symposium contribute to the successes of the troops in the theater of the operations. Charges participants to be the best. The inclusion of the study of the Nigerian Civil War in the Army War College Nigeria curriculum to model and groom the capacities of operational level leaders in basic military strategic thinking as well as operational planning is appropriate and very apt. Going by the theme of this symposium, which is the dynamics of leadership and decision making in the Nigerian Civil War, lessons for operational level commanders, the roles of leadership at all levels of warfare and level of command cannot be overemphasized. It is most critical at the operational level because it is the bridge between the strategic and tactical level. The operational level leaders must be experts in operational arts. With advancements in military science and technology, which birth nuclear weapons and improved precision targeting, amongst others, there was a misconception to downplay the study of military history and development of operational art. This was because combat was reduced to application of firepower to static targets. However, experience has shown that the outcome of warfare is determined by intangible factors such as leadership, intellect, morale, courage, amongst others. These factors are only emphasized through the study of military history. Leadership is of the critical importance. That is why it is the first pillar of my command philosophy, which is to transform the Nigerian army into a well-trained, equipped, highly motivated force towards achieving our constitutional responsibilities within a joint environment. Therefore, the theme of this symposium is in consonant with and in furtherance of the realization of my command philosophy. I am certain that the outcome of this symposium will contribute immensely to developing leadership qualities of the participants who are the direct beneficiaries and also contribute to the successes being recorded by our gallant troops in all theaters of operations. I therefore want to commend the Commandant Army War College Nigeria for the choice of this team. I am particularly pleased with the drive of the college in using this symposium not only as a means of academic excellence, but also as a veritable tool to find solutions to nagging contemporary security challenges as well as a means of attaining and sustaining my command philosophy for the Nigerian Army. You must therefore not only sustain, but increase the strides in keeping up with the set objectives of the college. For you, the participants of Course 8 2024, you must use this singular opportunity to learn as much as you can, open up new vistas and perspectives in your mind and find veritable ways of applying 
the lessons learned for the good of the Nigerian army, the armed forces of Nigeria, and the nation at large. I would also like to applaud the caliber of resource person to deliver this paper, the experienced and highly exposed panel of discussants as well as distinguished audience who will immensely contribute to the discussion segment. A nation that forgets its past has no future, unquote. Similarly, a Spanish-American philosopher, Jos Santayana, noted that, I quote, those who fail to learn from history are doomed to fail, unquote. Gleaning from these quotations, we must be deliberate and diligent in the study of history, particularly military history, to bring out and apply valuable lessons to the contemporary security challenges. I've said on several occasions that all military operations come at a cost, the quantum of which our planning and estimate process cannot accurately determine before they are incurred. This is because the unknown unknowns in wars and crisis situations. While the study of military history will not reveal the unknown unknowns, it could help provide insight to the deals or forecast the unknown unknowns in order to reduce the cost of operations. Before declaring this symposium open, it is with deep sense of responsibility and utmost respect that I humbly wish to express our profound gratitude to Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, for his untiring, invaluable support to the Nigerian Army, without which the successes being recorded would not have been possible. On behalf of officers and soldiers of the Nigerian Army, I once again pledge our absolute loyalty to Mr. President and our ardent commitment to the defense of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We shall continue to remain a political, professional, and ever ready to accomplish assigned missions by operating within a joint environment in the defense of our dear country, Nigeria. On this note, it gives me immense pleasure to declare the fifth edition of the Army War College Nigeria Symposium on the Nigerian Civil War 2024 open. I wish us all fruitful and far-reaching deliberations. Thank you all and God bless. Thank you very much, sir. May we please However, the commandant, Hamming War College, Nigeria, Major General High B Minor, said the essence of the symposium is to learn from the past by dissecting the civil war, demanded participants that others will look into their actions in future. The Nigerian Civil War was a dark moment in the annals of history of our dear nation. It was a gloomy period that exercised the strategic leadership of a young nation in the utilization of military instrument of national power, whereby commendably and adverse operational and tactical events were recorded on the battlefield. According to one of our retired generals here with us today, Brigadier General Hassan Lai, who stated, and I quote, that knowing the past is one thing. The wisdom of learning from it is another. The Nigerian Civil War Symposium is included in the military history module in order to learn from the past. The symposium provides an avenue 
to academically dissect the strategic, operational, and tactical activities of the Nigerian Civil War for better comprehension of battlefield event outcomes in order to bring out useful lessons that could assist in addressing the contemporary security threats facing our dear nation today. Towards achieving this goal, erudite scholars and experts in military history and some highly respected retired officers who witnessed the war are invited to share their thoughts and personal experiences. The erudite composition of the resource persons always ensures the audience, particularly the participants, gain fresh and rewarding insights from issues to be discussed. The theme of the fifth edition of the Army War College Nigeria Civil War Symposium for this year is the dynamics of leadership and decision making in Nigerian Civil War. Lessons for operational level commanders. The choice of this team was very deliberate as it focuses on the role of leadership qualities and decision making process at the operational level. This aligns closely with the leadership pillar and command philosophy of our revered Chief of Army Staff, which is to transform the Nigerian Army into a well-trained, equipped, and highly motivated force towards achieving our constitutional responsibility within a joint environment. Therefore, the choice of this team is one of the numerous ways by which this esteemed citadel of learning keys into contribute significantly to the attainment of the Chief of Army Staff's command philosophy. Our revered special guest of honor, permit me to have a few words for my dear participants this morning. Today, we are looking at the Nigerian Civil War that was fought over 50 years ago in order to draw lessons for our contemporary operations today. With this, I cannot tell you how important and critical it is for you to pay great attention to what you do today. Because always remember that our stories will be told when the dust settles. Remember that we are in a noble profession in which we are called upon to serve in ways we do not anticipate. And none of us is perfect but we must do our best because our dear nation is worthy of our best. We trust our instincts as we fight our daily fights, but we live each night hopeful that today's sacrifices have been worth it and that our instincts have not failed us. Bemiga, Olamiko, GTV, Africa.